and they're just going absolutely berserk. <laughs> hey, Taro. You know what time it is? You have to get your nails trimmed. Your nails are getting too long, buddy. Do you agree that your nails are too long? No. Alright, buddy. So which one do you want to use? The clippers? Or the grinder. Okay, no worries. We'll use that then. Before you start, I've always got a jar of treats here. We've got some dehydrated chicken jerky. And of course, the grinder. And this is the position that I like Taro in when we do his nails. It's gotta be like this. Taro doesn't love getting his nails done. He kind of has to tolerate it. And I find this position the easiest uh, to deal with him. Otherwise, he's gonna squirm all over the place. Just so you guys know, this is what the grinder sounds like. It's actually not that bad. All right, you ready? So as you guys can see, Taro has a couple black nails and he's got a couple white ones. It's the black ones that are a bit difficult because you can't really see the, the vein, the quick. It's okay boy. It's okay. Yeah, it's alright buddy. Sometimes Taro flinches a bit, I just gotta keep reassuring him that everything's gonna be okay. And I like to round his nails as well, just so they're not sharp. And of course, Tara's got these dew claws. I'm not sure if you can see. It's like this claw on the side here, it's like a thumb. You gotta get those as well. They're really annoying because if they're long, they can really snag onto things. I mean, I could probably go a bit further, but I'm not gonna risk it. Yeah, good job. So it's kind of round there. Having the grinder really helps with that. So it's no longer sharp. So if he tries to scratch me or the walls, whatever it is, it's less likely to do any damage. So with the back feet, uh, really, we've got to put Tara in a slightly different position. He's still in between my legs. It's okay. I kind of put him in a, a headlock. Don't worry, he's not being hurt or anything like that. Good boy, Taro. Just gotta round it out. So I've been doing this Taro since he was about three months old. He's now eight months, it's been a while. So he's kind of used to it. I mean, like I said, he doesn't love it, um, but he's okay with it. Like before getting Taro, I used to watch those videos. I'm sure some of you guys have seen videos of pugs having their nails trimmed and they're just going absolutely berserk. I thought Taro was gonna be like that, thank you. God, he isn't. Makes things a lot easier. And save a bit of money from going to the groomers. So I'm not sure if you can see. This is trimmed. You can see the ends. They're quite rounded out. And shorter than the other one. They're still a little bit sharp. And they're definitely longer. Last one. Last nail. Come on, boy. You got this. Come on. You got this, buddy. Good boy. <laughs> See? That's it. Was that easy? Was that okay? You handled it like a champ. Good job. Here you go. Good boy. Okay.
Good boy. And that's Tara's nails trimmed. Save 15 bucks from going to the groomers. I highly recommend this grinder. It works well, it lasts long, and it's USB rechargeable. The main thing is that Taro actually doesn't mind it. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link in the description below. Taro, you did such a good job. High five. Good boy. Do you want to say bye to everyone? Want to say bye? <laughs> good boy.